Welcome to Square One Games, my name is Exonovan and this is my road to completion guide for Final Fantasy 16. Do not follow this guide until you fully understand all the information in episode 0. The link is in my pinned comment below. Set up your system and accessibility options based on personal preference. Select Story as our gameplay focus and press OK on the next screen. We can't skip the opening cutscene since it flows directly into combat. It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. This combat sequence is fixed, so we don't actually have to engage the enemy. When possible, skip cutscenes and dialogue to speed up our trophy hunt. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Wyvern. Always follow button prompts in the lower right of the screen to learn how to play. Don't worry about memorizing all the tutorials because I'll explain everything to you as we progress through the guide. For now, press the options button to pull up the system menu. Don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. Move over to game settings and switch your target lock to hold. The other options are up to you. Let's take a look at camera settings. Turn on target follow and turn off player follow movement. I have to turn down the music to avoid copyright so this step is optional. Thank you. 
move over to language settings and turn off the NPC chatter log. The latest patch gave us the option to adjust motion blur in our graphics menu. I like to set mine to zero, but you are free to adjust this and the rest of the options based on personal preference. Always follow the most logical path unless I say otherwise. This will become especially important once we start following quest markers later in the guide. Time to move. We're just in to the gates. Get to die here, Wyvern. Move! Time, Wyvern. Complete the combat tutorial. Don't worry so much about perfecting and memorizing everything because I'll show you how to make combat extremely easy later in the guide. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Press square to attack the commander. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Spam triangle to cast magic. Come Clive, rain fire down upon me. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. Press R1 to dodge attacks. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. you dodge that? I was sure I had you. That was amazing! Nice try! Ah. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. 
Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any Shield's arsenal. But you are not just any Shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Tap circle to use Phoenix Shift to close the gap, then follow up with an attack. Fly at your foe before he can raise his guard. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Press right on the D-pad to use a high potion. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory, or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. I wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Enemies have two bars under their name. The thick red bar is their health and the thin yellow bar is their will. Currently, we're wearing an accessory that gives us a small quick time event to help us dodge certain attacks. Simply hit R1 if the prompt appears. The goal is to break an enemy's will to force a staggered state so we can deal more damage. You're taking this seriously? Keep going, Clive! Press R2, look in the bottom right corner, and you'll see the attack and fire prompt change to Rising Flame along with an empty slot. Hold R2 followed by Square to use Rising Flames, then finish off the Lord Commander. Well, it's time I took my own advice. I used all the tools at my disposal. Think of this menu as your face button, so Phoenix Shift would be circle, Jump would be X, Rising Flame would be square, and the empty slot at the top would be triangle. Always follow the red main quest markers unless I say otherwise. Sometimes they won't be visible, but we can hold L3 to use our animal instinct to show the way. I will not always provide commentary while following main quest markers, since our objective is clearly visible in the right upper part of the screen. However, I will provide commentary if a particular quest leads us to a collectible, key item, or trophy related event.
nice and quiet in here, isn't it? There's Joshua. That child is the future of our nation. He must be protected. Hold R2 to open large doors and gates. All other concerns are insignificant. Main quest markers also appear on the world map. Let's open up our gears and icons menu and adjust our inventory. Press triangle to remove the ring of timely strikes. Now replace the Ring of Timely Focus with the Ring of Timely Evasion. The Ring of Timely Evasion lets us dodge attacks automatically without pressing any buttons. Just be aware some attacks can't be dodged, but we can tank damage and use our potions to heal. There's even abilities we can learn later in the guide that'll help us recover HP, so be aggressive during combat. Follow the natural path until you see a blue glowing light on the right and a fallen tree on the left. But who do you imagine would maintain it? They've all fled from the blight. It's hard to believe that anyone used to live here. The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. Blue glowing lights are items, but we can skip the ones that aren't on our natural path. Instead, go under the tree, follow the path, and kill enemies with normal attacks along the way. Press on. There may be more ahead. Welcome to Stillwind. Have care, my lord. There's more. Yeah.
Watch out, my lord. Some of their number of spell slingers. And what a number. We'll all have our hands full here. Always make sure to pick up items on our natural path. These items mainly consist of potions and crafting materials. If you miss a few, don't worry about it because I've padded the run with extra items plus we can buy more from shops. Just pick up what comes natural and you'll be fine. We should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. Go into the village square and kill the enemies. Care to thin the herd? As if you have to ask. And then there was one. On your feet, Sir Wade. Here it comes. When the boss appears, tap circle to use Phoenix Shift, then tap triangle or square during the shift to land a special attack. Found her. That's a swing and a half. You'll know you've done this correctly because the phrase shift shot or shift strike will appear in the combat log in the middle right portion of the screen. Shift strike means we hit the enemy with our sword and shift shot means we hit the enemy with magic. Hit the enemy 15 times to pop the trophy. After him! 
before he summons the rest. Kill the next boss to complete the chapter. Make sure to stay behind the boss to avoid its bad breath attack. We will also be introduced to cinematic strikes and evasions, which are basically quick time events layered into cutscenes. Simply press square when the prompt appears to complete the strike and R1 to evade. Of its more, my lord. That thing's breath is worse than its bite. <laughs> that reeks. I said, stay away from its mouth. Guess is as good as mine. Push, my lord! Rather, we made it die.
Follow me, Your Highness. Are the enemy already inside the castle? I'm afraid so, Your Highness. We must hurry. duty. do this. They're our allies. Take care of that spellcaster. I'll keep the others occupied. <sighs> That's them done. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. This boss can't hurt us because we have the Ring of Timely Evasion. Look out! May I have this dance? He's an Imperial Dragoon. And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. Not that it will save you! Stay still, damn you! Have at him! 
Move your left thumb stick to acquire the target and hold triangle to attack. We'll pick up a trophy at the beginning of the next chapter. Stay away from me! Stay away! I'll kill you!
How do they expect us to kill something that can do this? They don't. Only the girl holding its leash. Follow the path and make a player save after we cross the gap. <laughs> The old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? By the flames. Take a second to learn the heat wave ability. Place heat wave into the square slot. Equip the ring of timely healing and the ring of timely focus. Start the next fight and wait for Shiva's dominant to use magic. When she does, press R2 and square during the quick time event to perform a heat wave counter. If done correctly, you'll see heat wave counter in the combat log. Avis, care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. Do this move twice to pop a trophy called packing heat. Load the last auto save and try again if needed. Just note that auto saves have a gray header and player saves have a gold header. After you have that trophy, load player save one and defeat the enemies. Remember, the only way that I can keep making guides is with your financial support. We have a friendly community and we love for you to join us. Click the links at the end of the video or my pinned comment if you'd like to help. For those of you supporting me already, greatly appreciate it. My name is Exonovit. Be good. Did you hear that? Down there. Avis, care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. White, you focus on the target. Understood. Be gone. Quick, Sergeant! 
with you, Wyvern? Dominant. I know her. Know her? Look around you! Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here! <laughs> now that that's done... I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return empty-handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Fall by your hand! Fight! 